And you may be asking, how in the world does all this fuel get transferred into steam? So let's go back to the front of the engine and I'll show you how. And with that massive tender full of oil to burn, the heat must go somewhere. And that somewhere is transferred into water through a process called conduction and convection. In short terms, the oil in this case is burned, creating heat within the firebox. With a clever system built to move all that hot air out of the box in the back of the train to move it to the front through a bunch of tubes going through all the center of this thing. And once it reaches the end, it'll pop out the smokestack in the front giving the steam engines that iconic plume of smoke coming out the front. So this heating system is completely surrounded by a 25,000 gallon tank of water pulling in most of that heat from the firebox to boil that water up and create steam. And you may be asking, how do they take this steam and transfer it to these pistons propelling this massive machine down the tracks? Let's see how. So when water becomes steam, it expands and takes up more space creating pressure within this boiler. This is a process called thermal expansion, which means when something is warmer, the molecules will move faster and faster and faster, making it need more space. With all these fast moving molecules being forced into confined space and nowhere to go, you get pressure. This is all held in check with hundreds of stay bolts. This camera is struggling probably to pick them up, but I don't know if you can see all these little rivets and all these little bolts back in here are making sure everything is staying tight and in place while all of this heat and pressure is building up within the engine to mitigate a catastrophic disaster. All of this steam must be used for something. Well, it is released down into giant pistons that are right in front of us here, housed right in front of these massive drive wheels. Utilizing the massive amount of pressure to push them forward, spinning the wheels and making the train move. Each chug you hear is pressure being pushed into here, forcing the piston out, pushing all of these rods down, forcing this wheel down, around and back, pushing this train forward.